One week before he went on a violent rampage, Norman Strobel was released from jail after serving almost two months. In the days leading up to the shooting, Cumberland County Sheriff's deputies were looking for him. He had violated a protection from abuse order and um, they had not been able to locate him. That protection from abuse order was filed by his ex-girlfriend. She's also the owner of the home in Casco, where Strobel shot and critically injured his ex-girlfriend's daughter's boyfriend, 32-year-old Jason Almeida. It was after he left that home that he called his ex, admitted his guilt, and continued his threats of harm. And we had deputies with the ex-girlfriend at another location, so we were getting that information as he kept calling. Tracking Strobel's cell phone led police to this home in Naples. As they looked through the window, they saw the body of another victim, 55-year-old Richard Dickma. As they entered the residence and identified themselves as police officers, Mr. Strobel appeared with a gun in his hand. Two deputies then shot and killed Strobel, but questions still remain about Dickma's death. The police also don't know if Dickma was in any way involved with the shooting in Casco. So it's a very complicated case, and there's a lot of moving parts. Some of the moving parts are real clear. There are other moving parts that are going to take days, if not weeks, to try to figure out. The two deputies involved in shooting and killing the suspect, Norman Strobel, have been identified. They are Sergeant Andrew Feeney and Deputy Derek Brill, both nine-year veterans. They are now on paid leave, which is protocol for officer-involved shootings. The Attorney General's office is handling that investigation. In the studio, Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.